Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Rexmore. Uh, today we are going to be taking out Heli, and I'm going to be showing you guys basically the ins and outs of what you'll need. And of course, with this tutorial, I'm going to show you everything from how to get the syringes, how to get your gun to take this Heli out, how to get that ammo made, how much you're going to need, and then of course we're going to finalize this with a good old heli takedown. Here we go folks, let's start off with the basics. First off, the TC, the fundamentals of the base. You're gonna wanna make the standard heli base and I've found that if you do it on the highest of ground, you can do it for this cost right here, which is roughly 9,000 metal, 3,000 wood, and 4,000 stone. That's gonna be enough to get it upgraded to where it shouldn't be too easily rated and you should be easily defendable. Now, before we take off with the mats, which I have conveniently snaked away here, this is everything else we're going to need to at least get the base secure. Now, this, you have to get lucky and find it, or alternatively, if you can't find one, you can always come to a tier 1 workbench, you can experiment, and at some point you will eventually get one, but you have to get one. And then you'll need 20 scrap, you're gonna take that, and this is the only thing that's random luck, you know, um, it can slow you down, you might be able to find it right away. You can get away with the horizontal embrasures, but I prefer the verticals drastically. Now, this 1600 frags here is for a very simple purpose. That is your dedicated Vambrace's frags. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here, you're going to go to construction, and you're gonna make 16 of those at 100 a piece. I'm gonna craft that. It's gonna take a bit. We'll run back to here. So we do have three doors, which is all I find I need, and one double door for my TC room. I like to upgrade that to a garage door as soon as I can, and usually that's fine. And here I've found my nice little secluded top of the map hill. Uh, it should be my ideal location, nothing really higher, I got some monuments in sight which means I should have an easy chance of tagging heli, which is one of the things you want to look for, and you're going to start it with just a simple 2x2. Two two. Um, I might wait till daytime so bear with me here. Oof, did that feel like a long time. I swear nighttime just gets longer and longer. All right, so back to her. We're going to quickly get a base down. All right, I like to separate my TC room so that I can have a little bit of extra security. And I am going to use the double function of because I am going to block this room off, put the roof on it. There we go. We got a standing point. Now, before you do anything else, go ahead and upgrade your foundations to metal. This is going to help you from not getting foundation wipe. Your bottom floor is entirely st is entirely stone, except for the stairs. You don't need to upgrade the stairs, and later on you might want to turn those into your ladder hatch instead. This is where the double door comes in handy. You're going to want to turn that into your locker room. This is where you're going to put your TC, your boxes, maybe your bat, maybe your bag or your bed. All goes right here. And of course, every, every base has got to have an airlock. There's your airlock, right there. Alright, now normally you would do another floor entirely express purpose of just, you know, blocking off more heli damage as you climb up more. But we don't need to do that because of how we built. You know, we, we came to this high elevation and it allows us to skip that part. So we're going to go out right here. Second floor, that could be our shooting floor. This is going to reduce the upkeep of the base a little bit. And, you know, it also reduces the cost to actually get the base up. Now, of course, you have to have roof access. You got to have a shooting deck, an area where if you want to land a heli and get in here, this is your little safe haven. Now, with upgrading, it's basically if the heli might hit it, it's metal. 
otherwise it's stone. And that's the philosophy we follow for the entire upgrade. Now, of course, the issue is if you fail to upgrade all of this exposed metal to metal, then when these embrasures eventually do break, you have a very real possibility of the heli actually destroying your base. Now, don't mind if you do accidentally do this. It's a, a pick it up, reverse it, throw it back in, and repair the frame. So, now, if you notice this isn't doing it, sometimes you gotta hit the edges. But you gotta make sure that's repaired for your fight. Then we're just gonna slap on the rest of these. Alright, great. That's secure. Now we're just gonna add on the last minute touches. We're gonna get some doors on here. Because, of course, you don't wanna give people access to your base at all. And we're not gonna wanna forget to upgrade this right here. Now, as you can see, I, I didn't run out quite. I did mess up a little bit with that window, which does hurt a little bit. But, you know, there's a little ways for error. Um, if you wanted to, you could, of course, upgrade these to stone, add extra airlocks, extra rooms to chill in. But this is going to be your standard base. Uh, it should work very well. And uh, now let's cut to getting guns. Get a lot of people make it too hard on themselves. Getting guns, getting weapons, you know, getting geared up. This is all you really need. Now, there is the alternative method of farming oil rig, and if you are capable of doing that with the compound bow, it is going to help you a lot. But uh, with that, the scrap here and this stuff here, that's all you're really going to need. Now, first off, before you go any further, Let's go ahead and get all of this crafted away to gunpowder. That's that right there. Now through the magic of uh, editing we have landed here at the bandit camp. It's here where we're going to skip past the wheel. We're going to run down this beaten track right here just for a second long enough to jump into the swamp water, get our knees wet here just a little bit. And this is what we're looking for right here. These two buildings right here. So that danger sign, don't even worry about it. Jump up the stairs right here. That's the guy we're looking for. This is the guy we want to see. Now, realistically, all you're going to need is this gun right here. Now, if you can afford the LR, 100% get the LR. But we're going to go with the M39 rifle. This is going to actually require that we land more of our shots because we can only tap fire. Now back at home base, we have a gun but no ammo. So what do we do? Well, you unload that gun. You take one of these pieces of ammo, you throw it in here. And for that 125 we saved earlier, you now have the blueprint for 556 five, ammo. Just like that, you know, it, it is a little bit of a scrap investment. You are spending 525 to get the gun and the ammo. But then you come over here with your nicely newly crafted gunpowder, you come down to your ammo, and you hit that max. You just start crafting it. Pump it out. And of course, you're going to want to uh, get ready for your next stage, which is the first aid component. Now, this is your minimum for just getting med sticks. Of course, you might want extra cloth for bandies, as it will help stop the bleeding. And in my gameplay, I'm going to have extra cloth, but this is going to get you med sticks. More than enough you should need for the heli. And you definitely should be okay with this. Now you do need to find a syringe. You can either go to Sewer Branch, which is a good source for them. Or you can go to uh, Small Oil. Small Oil is a very good source of small of syringes. And it's usually my preferred method because you get a bunch of free 5.56 and 9mm ammo at the same time. And again, once you're done that, you're going to want to come over here. Uh, you'll want to actually, sorry, you'll want to take this stuff out. Which is your resources for making first your required low grade which it is going to take 
40 times 4. And once you get that fuel going, it's actually going to craft you 16 syringes, which in my experience is more than enough to get the heli taken out. And from that point, we're actually going to be ready to go. I think two stacks of ammo, 16 syringes, and then we are going to get some more cloth just for some bandages. Should be plenty to take out the heli. Now, you do, see, I don't have the most gear. We're relying on the base to actually give us more cover so we don't take too much damage. And with all that said and done, here we are at our heli base. We have more than what we need in terms of meds. The ammo should be fine if we land our shots. You've got to get some bandages pre-made, of course. Now, the one thing I didn't emphasize is you do want to make sure your TC room gets taken care of. You get that TC down, but this here is super important. Without a bag, if you die to heli from one rocket slipping through, you are not recovering. Now, real quick, before we get into hell here, I just wanted to say thank you for making it this far into the video. And if you guys learned anything whatsoever or want to see more content from me in any way, just throw a like down below or even comment on the video. And it lets me know that you guys want to see more how to videos from me. You can also come over to my Twitch live most mornings, at least, and throw a follow there and we can chat live. Without further ado, let's get back to her. <clears throat> and then after the long and arduous wait, you finally hear the heli coming. It's great, great news. Now, wait until he's close enough that you think you've got a shot because you don't want to waste your ammo. See, right now he's at a near monument, so you want to start taking shots. You're going to have to kind of look at it. What kind of drop do I have? Okay. So you're going to want to recalculate, reposition. Because you got to figure the bullet drag time of getting there as well as the drop. But once you finally get that hit, he's going to come in. Now, there are two points on heli that are worth noting. Um, why is he not coming in? I've tagged him like three times, four times. Okay. So the propellers, in, the propeller on the back and the propeller on top are the points you want to hit. When you hit them, you will get an explosion and heli will take a lot of damage. And here we go for the fight, folks. Make sure you close your door behind, keep yourself full health, reload on the strafes. Anytime he's going to go down like that, he's going to rocket. Those rockets, if they slip through the window, it's going to hurt you. But right after he rockets, he goes down on the opposite side you get free fall on shooting at them. If you see those explosions, that's what you're looking for. And you just want to watch for that fire because it's going to slow you down. But you got to hit those propellers. Duck behind the wall when those rockets come in. He's going to come down on the opposite side, and you can pretty much wait for him, and you get those easy shots. Now because I've got all these walls protecting me, I'm not too worried, because I can duck out anytime I need to if I get too low. So you got me low, you stop the bleeding, but you want to keep him aggroed on you. He's going to rock it in again. Do you want to cover? Make sure your guns re- Oh. Okay. It's gonna happen. A rocket slipped through the cracks. It hit me. This is unfortunately something that will happen from time to time as you're taking heli. Now, you can very easily tag him back. And he'll come straight back. Get your clothes on, get healed up, and this is why we had a bag. Sometimes if you have to pop heals real fast, that's, that's your only method. It's better than not getting healed. Now, if you want to, you can even go inside that door for the added protection as the rockets. But always go for the shots afterwards, because it's just it's, it's your easiest time to hit them without getting shot back yourself. You don't want to just hide in the building though, because he will lose interest and go away.
And as you see, I got one of his propellers exploded. He, he's on fire. He's hurting. That means I've done crazy damage to this dude, and he is not happy. Look at this. He's going to rock at me again. Now you want to get out of the way for the rocket. They can slip through the window and hurt you real bad. And the propellers are a little harder than it looks, but uh, that's what you gotta do. He's gonna rock it again. And he got healed up, because you you know if you can be full health, why not? Remember those easy shots on those passes. You're gonna rock it again. Just because I didn't want to get hit by that. And there you go. Tail's blown up, he's down. And that's Heli Boys.